Hello friends, this is Poonam Soni, Assistant Professor Biani Girls College. Today, I am going to discuss about two-dimensional arrays in C. So, we will start the discussion over two-dimensional arrays. We have already discussed about one-dimensional arrays, which are the arrays when, which expands, ex, expand in only one dimension. It means they are only row wise. Here we will see two dimensional arrays. Two dimensional arrays are the uh, are in the form of matrices. We have already seen the matrices in mathematics and uh, tabular data that we want to store we can go for two dimensional arrays. The declaration for two dimensional arrays is like first you need to specify the data type, the name of the array, then first dimension of the array will give you the number of rows second dimension will give the number of columns and then the initial values if you want to initialize the array. For example, suppose I want to declare a matrix of 2 rows and 2 columns like this is the 0th row and this is the first row, this is the 0th column and this is the first column. So, it is a matrix as you can say it is a 2 by 2 matrix, 2 number of rows and 2 number of columns. So, if we want to declare any such structure then we will go for 2 dimensional arrays because they are expanding in row as well rows and in columns as well. So, suppose we are taking uh, integer values, so the data type will be int the name of the array that is any valid, valid identifier in C, I have taken the name as mat. This is the first dimension which will represent the number of rows. So, we have two rows, it will represent the number of count, not the number of index. Suppose uh, you will say uh, you will say that uh, the row number is 0 and 1, so you will specify here 1, no, total number of count. So, two number of rows and two number of columns. Then initial values will be given like the values in the first set of curly braces will be row 0 and in the second set it will be row 1 fine. First set of values is row 0 and second set of values is row 1. Then the first value in every row is 0th column and so on. So, uh, second value in row 0 will be 1, this is also 1. This is how it will be stored, this will be row 0 and uh, first element, row 0, second element, row 1, first element, row 1, second element. Index will always start from 0 as we have already seen in uh, arrays, uh, one dimensional arrays as well. <coughs> the lower index of any array is always 0 and the upper index is always size minus 1. So, let us see after uh, declaring this type of array when it gets executed what actually happens? A memory will be allotted, total number of elements is what? 2 by 2 is 4 number of elements. So, each and element is of integer type. 2 bytes will be reserved for each element. So, 4 to the 8 bytes will be reserved. This one block is representing 2 bytes. This individual block is of 2 bytes each. So, they all make it 8 byte. Fine. Now, row 0 and row 1. So, this index is representing the row number and it is representing the column number. In every case, this is the row number and this is the column number. Row 0, column 0, 1. So, row 0, column 0, 1. Row 0, column 1. Row 0, column 1. That is 2. Row 1, column 0, row 1, column 0, 3, row 1, column 1, row 1, column 1, that is 4, fine. How it 
it it will be related to a matrix this is how we represent a matrix and uh, this is the index 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 you can check 0 0 0 0 it is 1 0 1 it is 2 1 0 it is 3 and 1 1 it is 4. So, this is how we can declare two dimensional arrays. Now, let us see a program. So, let us see the example for two dimensional array. We have continued the same example that we discussed while declaring the array. We have taken an integer matrix 2 by 2 again and we have taken two counters as well. These counters will count the number of rows and number of columns. We have asked the user to enter the elements. Now, the value of i we have initialized with 0. i is less than 2, yes it is true we will come inside the loop. Again there is a loop for column, this, this loop will take count of rows and this loop will take count of columns. So, 0th row and 0th column the value of j has also become 0 from this loop. The value entered by user suppose it is 1, the 1 will go to mat of i j, i is 0, j is 0. So, this is 0 0, 0 1, 1 0, 1 1, first value will go at 0 0. Now, the loop will iterate, it will uh, move to j plus plus, j will be incremented, the value will be 1, sorry, 1 still less than 2, we will come inside, next value will go to 0 and 1, the new value of j is 1, 0 and 1. So, this is 0 and 1, suppose user has entered 2, 2 will move to 0 and 1 and so on this loop will be continued next value will go to 1 0 and next to 1 1. Suppose these are the values 3 and 4. Once this loop will be terminated in this turn the value for j will become 2, 2 less than 2 no this loop will be terminated we will continue for the upper loop. Again the value of i will be incremented so the new value for i will become 1 and we will uh, repeat the loop for first row 1 of 0 1 and 1. The same loops same two loops can be continued for not continued they can also be used for printing the value or using the values. Once we have taken the values from this loop we can process on them either we can process on them or we can print them we can use them in any way. So, this is how we can take the values for a two dimensional matrix. Friends, if you like the video, then please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.